Thursday, November the 8th, 2018. And once again, I'm starting from Lulworth Cove car park here, near the hotel. Yesterday was a washout, uh, couldn't walk really, too windy and wet. So today, weather's fairly decent, albeit, once again, we've got some very strong gusts. Seems to be the uh, common theme of my walks lately, so expect some wind interference despite my best efforts. Today I'm doing around nine miles, a walk I've devised myself using OS Maps app. Uh, so let's see what we hold. Initially following this footpath to Dungey Head. Looking back over the cove, and I notice on the headlands there, the Red Army flags are flying. Warning of uh, the shooting going on. Shame I haven't been able to get over that side this week, but there you go. And now this was the path I came down two days ago, and instead of going on that towards Weymouth and Ringstead, Incidentally, I noticed Weymouth is only ten and a half miles, not as far as I thought. Yeah, so instead of going straight on up there, towards Thirdle Door, we actually turn right here, along this lesser used track. 602 mile to Minehead, if anyone fancies it. West Lulworth over there on my right, and once again the guns come into play. Further views back to West Lulworth and up on the hill there is the uh, military camp again. Whence all the uh, firing noises are coming from. We continue to follow this footpath towards Holiday Park. This juncture, I'm going to take this newly created woodland stretch, having just come from that way. I wasn't expecting this, I was expecting to have to walk along the uh, campsite road over there on my left. But like I say, this looks quite new. Probably not on the map yet, but uh, not to worry. Excellent alternative. Several picnic tables en route as well. Although it's uh, quarter to 11 in the morning, a tad early. Now, looking back again towards West Lulworth with the uh, military ops up on the top of the ridge there. Hear plenty of noise. Can't see much though. So there you have it. High risk fire area. There's the campsite up there. If I can get up this side of this field boundary, looks like there's a set of steps up ahead. So the answer is probably yes. Sandy. Yes. A convenient set of stairs here. As we uh, take one part in view of Lulworth Cove and West Lulworth. This is the area where the X54 drops off and reverses back down to Lulworth Cove. Quite a busy um, driveway through the Durdle Door car park, which is why it's good that they've allowed us to walk up the uh, wooded section that I've just done. 
road sidewalk in now to Daggers Gate, which we passed on my walk two days ago. Road was closed that day. Don't know how precarious it's going to be because I see some uh, national speed limit signs ahead. Let's see. Okay, the roadside walking, about 300 metres, is safe. Most of it's along a footpath anyway. So now I'm at Daggers Gate, whereas I went to uh, Ringstead straight ahead last time. This time I'm going right towards East Cholden, a mile and a half away. A mile and a half into the walk now. So that was the last walk. This is today's walk past the barns. And that's the roadway and gate that I uh, traversed two days ago. So looking back, pretty agricultural this section of the walk. Freshly uh, grown or sown corn by the looks of it. Some variety, probably barley this time of year. the brow of the hill around 135 meter contour line approaching slate buildings s l e i g h t weather's not looking too good ahead as long as it stays dry i don't care Right away goes right here, but I'm not convinced. I stood here next to a recently installed, probably a composting unit, I'm not sure. Looks like the composting unit, or whatever it is, has replaced the former slate buildings. All that's left of them is their old uh, farmyard. Anyway, there's a footpath finger post there. It indicates you can go straight on and I believe that's the way I should be going. Let me just check. Yep. There is a slight deviation going right to East Carol. So past this uh, old farm building and onwards that way. There isn't enough vista ahead of us there. See the track down in the valley. Excuse the wobbling, quite windy. Metal gate on down the valley. Us in a disused pit here for location purposes on the grid map. The footpath is continuing to be well signposted. As we enter open access land here, great uh, innovation that in 2000. A pleasant section of grass down here, in the valley, out of the wind. Lovely. We're coming away from the valley floor now, which is onwards there, through this gate. There is a path off here to the left, which you ignore. Cattle in the distance as well, so just as well. Looking back at whence we've come, along a, a relatively slippery chalk path here, so beware. And on the right, as I look back, an isolated building here, a home, Lime Kiln House, so that's probably a clue to the local industry.
approaching the village of East Cholden. I think what was the Walker's car park referred to here is now full of builder's rubble. I did see a load of builder's rubble up there which I didn't film thinking it was uh, part of Lime Kiln House but I think I might now be wrong seeing that reference there to Walker's car park. So as you can see this village has a double name either Chaldon Herring or East Chaldon and there's no footway for three quarters of a mile although that shouldn't be too much of a problem down here a rather pleasant little hamlet of East Cholden. Nine mile to Dorchester I notice there. Plenty of remembrance down this way I notice, which is good to see. We cannot remember these people enough in my book. Nine mile to Dorchester, ten to Weymouth. So a uh, pleasant place to live by the looks of it. East Chaldon has a pleasant little pub, the Sailor's Return. But it's a bit early in this walk to be usable. And unfortunately the place where I'm going to stop for a brief respite, Winfrith, it doesn't have a pub but it has a church. Onward journeys on up past the pub. Doing on the button at the moment, and that's the pub's opening hours. Quite intermittent. There's the village church, way on up the other side of the village, which is a bit unusual. Normally, pub and church are not too far distant, so there may have been another pub down in the village once upon a time, I don't know. Bit more road walking just after the pub again along a road that uh, isn't very busy although having said that I see a van coming down ahead of me that's mainly uh, what you see these days on country lanes van white vans delivering Amazon etc deliveries sign of the times so on the very bend of the road I've just been walking along from East Cholden there's a uh, gap in the hedge here and a metal field gate. That's our onward journey, although there's no finger post at the roadside indicating it. Looking back at East Cholden, wonderful view. Far from the madding crowd indeed. No aircraft noise down here. Bournemouth being the nearest uh, airport any disturbance comes from the army firing their guns nearby but not over this way pleasant village scene and lovely autumn colours the ivy on the gate post there are some footpath markers including open access land and the Winthrith Village Trail so we're not too far away from the break So I'm now on top of the ridge, hence the increase in wind speed, looking north. And I'm not sure what the ridge is in the distance. It's obviously across this plain.
probably still in Dorset. mile an hour gusts forecast today. I think we're now getting them. About past 12 now. Stood here around 100 metres. 300 foot ish, 340 feet. Looking uh, northeast. A real blot on the landscape over there. Not sure if it's a substation or what, but uh, you can't help but see it from every angle. Now in the village of Winthrith, Newburgh, and there's my intended uh, respite point over there. See, West Lulworth, as the crow flies, is three mile away, but the way I'm going, it's a bit further. So this makes an appropriate lunchtime stop, albeit it's not going to be lunch because I'm still massively filled up from breakfast. Fantastic breakfast you get at these places. Here we are, St Christopher's I now discover it's called. Open for prayer and visitors. So I'll go and say one for my uncle. God rest his soul. So there is St Christopher's with uh, I notice the Easter cross there leaning up against the wall. I presume that's what it is. Chairs in this graveyard I notice. So I might have to sit in the storm port in the lich gate. They've got there. Wonder what that's for heating. Well, here we are. Quite plain and simple. Many modern touches. Not much in the way of uh, leaded windows. Lovely little display of ex-military gear there. Ready for the Poppy service. Some lovely touches, eh? And over there is the sole leaded window that I can see. decorated one anyway. Further reflections and dedications here to those that died in the war, both of them. And even Iraq, which I don't really remember as like the other two big wars because we weren't defending ourselves there really. It's a different kettle of fish that. It's all down to Tony Blair again. But these two great wars, very different. Our country was under threat there and needed defending. Got some sandbags here depicting what looks like a bunker. One of those horrendous tunnels in the uh, Battle of Verdun. Lunchtime spot here in the Lich Gate. There are benches on that little island over there, Traffic Island, and just outside the Lich Gate, but this appeals to me in keeping with my uh, regular church stops. So it's about 20 to 2 now, lunch has been had, pleasant respite, saw some uh, army boys go by in their jeeps, 
on manoeuvres. Wasn't expecting that out here because we're well off the range. Anyway, now proceeding through Winthrith, Newburg. So when you come to this sign for Fields Farm, Winthrith herd of registered Holsteins, you then take a right, uh, and I can see the sign hidden in the bush there, to proceed down the drove. The village shop, etc., is about 300 metres down the street. So just in there amongst the uh, leaves, and I'm going to report this on Pathwatch now, because it's just not visible. The initial section of this drove road is tarmacked. Lovely autumn colours. Here for a few brief days. Then gone. Bang. Everything's dead for the winter. In the uh, dairy farm or herd in for winter milking. Don't look too dangerous in there, do they? It's when they get their numbers in a field that there's a different issue. So at this juncture, don't take the branch to vine down, but follow this one through the bushes, Purbeck Way, marked up West Lulworth, Coombe Keynes. West Lulworth, two mile hens. Remnants of old man's beard here. This is a nice drover's lane, sheltered from the wind, bushes on either side. So, a quarter three at this juncture here, we do a right, as indicated on the finger post. What a pleasant afternoon it's turned out to be. The old army helicopter's been busy today, I've noticed. Two or three trips it's made from the base, carrying troops somewhere. That's interesting to know, you can get to Wareham from here on the Purbeck Way, nine and a quarter mile. So add the uh, mile and a bit to West Lulworth, you could make that into a day's walk. Get the um, bus back in the summer months anyway. Something else to think about because the uh, X54, having had a bit of an extension and respite, ends this month, I hear, end of the month. So the hotel gets cut off, basically, without a car. Several hundred eyes watching me again. As we return to more traditional Dorset scenery up here, the Isle of uh, Portland in the distance, Daggers Gate in the foreground, so we've nearly come full circle. Pleasant enough views. Okay, back at base, four and a quarter hours later, and 9.2 miles, that's a pleasant enough walk. I shall put that to the management and see if they uh, put that on their discovery point list. Because it is inland, sheltered, and on a windy day like today, an alternative for walking along the coast and getting blown away. Anyway, so I should call that um, my Lulworth Circular via Winfrith Newburgh. Anyway, tomorrow is the last day and I'm hoping, subject to the weather, to walk back to the rail station at Wall along the Hardy Way. Approximately seven miles if I remember correctly. Anyway, much subject to the weather. <laughs>